What's up YouTube? This is Joe here from the Hammerdance Live YouTube channel and today I have another tutorial for you guys. We're gonna go over how to install and set up Streamlabs OBS so that you guys could start streaming today. And we're gonna download it, we're gonna install it, and then I'm gonna go through each setting with you guys so that by the end of this video you can hit go live and your stream would go live. Alright guys, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is navigate over to streamlabs.com which is where we're at right here. You're going to come over to here, download Streamlabs OBS. We're going to click that. All right, so after it's finished downloading, what you're going to do is you are going to click it and open it up. So now once you've downloaded, you're going to follow through this process. You're going to install. I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed, but you're going to install it. So once it's installed, it's going to look something like this. It's going to be very bare, very blank. There's going to be nothing in here whatsoever. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start by tweaking your settings and we're going to come up here to the settings icon, click that. <laughs> So first tab up here that we're in is the general tab. Not much we're gonna change in here. Everything in here is pretty default and, and should seem pretty fine. Um, I should note that the first time you do run Streamlabs, it will ask if you want it to auto optimize um, for, for your PC based on your specs. So if you let that auto optimizer run, that'd be fine. You know, if you wanna try that. Um, however, I'm gonna give you my specific uh, specs to make it run for performance and to give you the best quality. So. If at any given time my settings are not working for your specific machine, you can come up here to settings and in the general tab you can run the auto optimizer right here. Okay, so right now we're going to drop down to the stream tab. In the stream tab, um, we're going to keep this on streaming services, that's fine. Um, under service, you're going to switch it. I, mine is on Twitch because I stream on Twitch. If you stream on Mixer or something else, you can switch that right here, but we're going to leave it on Twitch because that's where I stream from. Um, server we're gonna leave that on auto and your stream key is going to be in your creator dashboard in twitch um, or your dashboard in mixer or wherever you're trying to stream uh, your stream key is a unique key dedicated to your channel um, inputting that key here in this box will allow you to stream to that specific channel so never share your stream key with anyone um, just copy and paste that in here you'll be all set okay next tab we're gonna go down to is output so this is where things start getting a little tricky at the top, you're going to switch this to advanced, which is what you see right here. So we're on the streaming tab here. Audio track, we're going to leave that at one. Your encoder, this is what you're going to want to switch to hardware NVENC new. So what that encoder is encoding from is your GPU. So your graphics card is doing the bulk of the work here. Um, this will give you an actual really good performance on your machine while you're gaming. Uh, back in the day, people used to encode with their processor, which is the X264 um, encoder. And that would make your computer chug and you'd lag a lot while playing games. It just really wasn't optimal. And then Nvidia came out with this hardware NVNC uh, new encoder and this is amazing because it actually allows your computer to run at almost full potential while you are streaming so it's great um, so we're going to switch to that for our encoder you're going to check enforce streaming service encoder settings right here and your rate control we want to have it on custom bitrate which is cbr right here your bitrate so right now we're going to set this up to stream in 720p at 60 frames per second so for your bitrate you are going to set that to 5000 um, 5,000 should be more than enough to stream at 720p at 60 frames, no problem. Um, Keyframe interval, we're going to change that to 2. Keep that on 2 there. And here down under preset, depending on your graphics card, we can switch this to max quality. If you're running, I would say anything from a 1080 and above, I would put it on max quality. If you're under a 1080, let's say you have a 1070 or 1060, I would keep it on quality and then so on and so forth for lower than that. Um, but if you're running a 1080 or above, keep it on max quality. Anything else, keep it on quality. There's actually not a big difference between max quality and quality. Um, so yeah. Next, go down to profile. We're going to put this to main. Okay. And look ahead. No cycle visual tuning. You can check that box. GPU, keep it at zero. Max B frames, two. No problem. Next, we're going to jump over to the audio tab right here. Okay, so in the audio tab, we do want to keep our sample rate at 44.1 kilohertz right here. Make sure that's at the 44.1. Um, and this is where you're going to set up your devices. Now, if you're streaming on one PC, this should be pretty simple. You're going to keep your number one device as default. You probably are not going to have a secondary device, so you can disable that. And then your mic, you're going to select right here. I have a bunch of microphones. Um, so let's just say I was using my Yeti Nano. I'm going to select my Yeti Nano, and my Yeti Nano will now be down here as you can see okay so 
then if you have any other microphones you can add them in as well but i don't so i'm going to keep those disabled next tab we're going to go to is video so at the top here base canvas resolution is basically what your monitor's resolution is before streaming before anything else whatever resolution you're running your monitor at you want to keep this there so i'm running a 1080p 240 hertz monitor so i'm keeping my base canvas resolution at 1080 if you're running a 2k monitor you're going to want to switch that to 2k whatever your monitor is that's where you're going to keep your base resolution at okay and now your output scaled resolution this is where you're going to select 1280 by 720 so that's going to take the footage that you are encoding and it's going to compress it and display it on your stream at 720. okay and your downscale filter you are going to put this on lanxos which is the uh, sharpest filter you can put on there just trust me on that you definitely want to keep it on that uh, you don't want to go any lower okay so for SV fps types so for fps types we're going to go with common fps values no problem there common SP fps value we're going to switch to 60 because we want 60 frames okay so make sure you have it looking like this and then we can go down to the next tab i'm not going to really go through hotkeys with you because this is something that you can kind of do on your own you can set up you know key binds to you do these commands for you by pressing the key um, i don't really have any setup because i do use a stream deck um, while i'm streaming so but if you don't have a stream deck and you have some macro keys or extra keys on your keyboard that you don't use while gaming you can set those to hotkeys in streamlabs obs okay so that's what you would do here in the hotkeys tab all right next let's move on to the advanced tab so down here you're going to want to keep process priority at normal so that streamlabs runs at a normal process priority and doesn't get um, start bogging down your computer if you amp up the priority so we're going to leave that at normal that's no problem um, under video color format and v12 is what we want uh, yuv color space we want to set that to 709 it's probably going to be on 601 make sure you switch that to 709 and your yuv color range it's going to be on partial switch that to full should be all set there um, don't want an audio monitoring device no no problems there all this stuff you can basically keep as is if you do want to add an extra stream delay to your stream which i wouldn't really suggest because it kind of kills like viewer engagement um, you can add that right here with this setting under the advanced tab um, but other than that all these settings can kind of stay exactly how they are okay scene collections we're going to skip that this is once you have a bunch of different collections of scenes compiled that you've created in Streamlabs. you can organize them here export them import overlays onto your stream all that kind of stuff we're going to get into importing uh, overlays and doing alerts and all that kind of stuff in another video this is just a quick one on how to set up Streamlabs obs to be able to go live okay so we will revisit that in a new video Next, we can go down to notifications. Basically, you want to just have enable notifications. You can put the sounds on if you want them there, um, but you don't need to. Down here, it's going to give you troubleshooter notifications. These are actually very helpful, so I would keep them on. It'll tell you if your stream is lagging or skipping frames and all that stuff. Um, so I would suggest keeping those on, okay? Um, appearance, you can switch the theme of it to a light theme or a night theme. I like the night theme. Um, it's just way better to me. You can increase the chat size here if you want to. Uh, all good stuff in here. This this option right here is actually pretty helpful depending on where your monitor is that you are using Streamlabs on. Um, you can switch which side the chat shows up on while you're live. So if you ever need to do that, that is in this setting right here. All right. And remote control, you can control Streamlabs from your phone if you want to. You could just scan the QR code, download the app, and then go from there. All right, so if you follow all those settings, you should be able to go live. Um, we're going to dive in real quick, and I'm going to show you how to create a basic scene to just capture your display. This way, you guys are ready to go live. All right, so when you want to create a new scene in Streamlabs OBS, you're going to come down here to the Scenes tab, hit the plus sign. We're going to name this uh, Test Scene. Okay. So now we created our test scene. So we're in our test scene now. Uh, it's highlighted. You're going to come over to sources. Sources are what are what are being put in your stream and what's being displayed on the screen. Okay, so think of test scene as a group. And then inside that group, we're going to have a bunch of files and images and stuff. And that's what's going to be displayed on our screen here. Okay, so you're going to come over to sources. We're going to add a new source. And this is where you can see, obviously, you can add an image, um, audio things, videos, whatever you want. Um, images would obviously be like overlays and stuff like that. Video capture device would be your camera, things like that. So for right now, we're going to capture our main display just as if you would when you're playing a game. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit display capture. So now what this is doing is it's creating a source in our scene 
that is capturing our main display. Now you're going to see when I activate this source, it's capturing this display that we're actually on. So it's going to look like, uh, you know, crazy inception of screens going into infinite abyss of nothingness. So ready? Head source. Boom. There it is. See what I mean? So it's capturing this screen that we're on right here. I have three monitors. Um, so if I drag this over to my other monitor, it doesn't look like that. But right here, obviously, it's, it's capturing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So that's how you would add your display. So now if I were to open up, you know, let's say Fortnite or something like that, you guys will see that Fortnite will pop up on my stream. This is how you would capture your display to shoot that over onto your stream and everything's good. So now you guys should be ready to go live. So when you're ready to go live, you come down here and hit go live. All right, there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it a little bit helpful. If you did enjoy the video, please drop it a like and subscribe to the channel. I do drop a video once a week. It's either an equipment review or a tutorial on streaming or audio or microphones or lights or speakers or something of that nature. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you are interested in this stuff in any way. And for those of you who don't know, or maybe you're new here, I do stream live on Twitch weeknights at 9 p.m. There's gonna be a link down in the description below that'll take you to my Twitch page. I also have a link down there where you can follow me on Twitter. That's where I post all my updates and say when I'm going live or when I'm doing giveaways and all that good stuff. So make sure you follow me on there. So that about wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next week or on Twitch if you come hang out. So until next time, happy gaming.